Hey everyone, I'm Sean Murray and welcome to Nautique. Since 1925, we have been dedicated to building the best boats on the water. Now our reputation for industry leading innovation and driving the progression of water sports is over 90 years in the making. Now that reputation rides on every single boat that leaves this factory. And today, we're gonna give you an inside look at what it takes to build the best boat on the water, the Nautique. The Nautique World Headquarters is located in Orlando, Florida on just over 137 acres of land, including two test lakes and our 270,000 square foot manufacturing facility. From concept to creation, every Nautique is built right here in the USA. The dream starts with you and begins to take form right here in Product Design and Development, or PDMD. Nautique has the best engineers, designers, and prototype team in the business. Marketing and sales take all the relevant information collected from athletes, dealers, focus groups, and you, pass it along to PDMD and begin the process of turning an idea into a Nautique. Turning dreams into possibility and flawless function happens right here. The design team begins to work on conceptualizing the look and feel of the boat to create something that is absolutely amazing. They implement functionality into every available space that flows into elegant comfort and ergonomic perfection. The engineering team then works to take this design and turn it into the best performing boat on the water, from the running surface to every mechanical function and onboard system. Once all of these things are imagined, designed, built by our prototype team and then tested, it's time to hit the production floor. The manufacturing process begins right here in our dust controlled mold bins. Each mold is precision cut by our computer generated models and are made with the highest quality in the industry. Before the hull and deck molds are ready for gel coat, they go through an elaborate taping and wrapping process to meet the gel stripe pattern selected by the customer. Here at Nautique, we create our own frame for the mold. This mold is designed to easily rotate so there's more even distribution of the gel coat, ensuring quality and a more ergonomic workspace for the laminators. Our gel coat is applied in a three-pass process, right here in our state-of-the-art, climate-controlled gel coat bays. After the second pass, the gel is measured with a mill gauge to ensure that the thickness is within quality spec. Between our design of the bays and our process, we lead to a perfect, consistent finish every time. Our booth layout is configured in such a way that parts can flow in a linear system more efficiently from station to station on a standard cycle time. Our automated gel coat mixing systems, new streamlined gel coat lines, and our new layout allow for an increased curing time which optimizes the boat's cosmetic finish. A bar coal hardness test is used for every part to determine if that part is cured and ready for lamination. Once the hardness spec is met on the gel coat, the fiberglass skin coat is then applied with the best products in the business. The hardness spec is then met on the skin coat and the fiberglass bulk layer is then applied to give the Nautique boat its legendary strength. Each boat has a specific lamination schedule prescribed by the engineers and production team to produce a great looking and structurally sound boat. Our engineers convert the 3D model into 2D pieces, which are cut on a fiberglass CNC. This minimizes variation on the amount of material that goes into each boat and ensures that our boats are consistently built. Our lamination area features a vapor cooling system that allows us to control the temperature between 77 and 85 degrees. I'm pretty comfortable in here right now. So not only does this keep the resin at a temperature so that it kicks off appropriately, but it also keeps the employees working very comfortable. Like I always say, happy boat builder means you got a happy boat. Now that everything is cured, we move on to that magical moment called pulling the boat. Using a powerful hoist, we separate the boat from the mold before moving into the grinding base where we'll trim off excess fiberglass from the edges. Just as the hull moved through the line starting in the mold room and moving through the lamination department, the deck follows the same path. Once the hull and deck have both been trimmed, it moves through a polish stage to make sure that it's free of defects. It is then pulled into our assembly line where hulls and decks travel through together four lines and 40 stations and a measurable 54 minute tack time per station. 
Safety and ergonomics are a priority for us here at Nautique. So we have hoist and actuated carts to lift the heavy parts, electric pallet jacks to move the parts, integrated universal dollies that can be used all the way to the water test, and ergonomic power tools to help avoid those repetitive motion injuries for our boat builders. Each station also has a cart with specific slots for tools that are required for each step in that station. It keeps the work environment clean, safe, and quick for the employees to access. On the first line, the underwater gear is fitted to the hull. This includes the fins, water intakes, rudder, and strut. Now we laser calibrate each strut to ensure that the shaft angle is absolutely perfect. So right next to the hull, the corresponding deck is then flipped upside down so it can be fitted with all of the accessories, wiring, and hardware that is mounted to the underside. Now wiring the deck upside down makes it easier for the operator to reach all the parts of the deck. This contributes to higher quality electrical system and produces a more ergonomic station. This is extremely important to the boat's performance. Speaking of performance, engine mounting is next. Let's go. The next part of the process is setting the engine, and just like every other piece during assembly here at Nautique, precision is priority. Now while setting the engine, the technicians are going to use a mill gauge like this one right here to ensure that the engine is set within one three thousandths of an inch. This little thing right here, that's precision. Nautique has the most progressive and beautiful interior designs in the marine industry, and it is all made in-house right here from start to finish. Now our substrates and vinyl are all precision cut on the CNC cutting systems shown here. Every part that goes into a Nautique is of the highest quality and our seat backs and cushions, no exception. Our foam is really important to us and so what that means to you as a customer is the longest lasting, most comfortable seat in the industry. With tablets at all of our sewing stations, our skilled sewers have instant access to work instructions as well as state of the art sewing machines to build your customized interior perfectly. Once the vinyl skin is sewn, it is tacked onto a corresponding substrate which is rock free and then stored on a customized cart to be delivered to assembly without damage. Our stringer grids, liners, and small parts are built using a highly engineered and advanced process called light resin transfer molding or light RTM. This improves the part quality and the consistency. This process has many benefits to our small parts. We have better structure, improved cosmetic surface, as well as process control. Most importantly, we can provide improved work conditions for our boat builders, which minimizes VOC emissions. Similar to upholstery, small parts uses a visual management system displayed on TV monitors with a custom boat tracking program designed by our industrial engineering team, triggering small parts to start their build process. Here we are at the water test. Now what's cool about this process is that each and every boat that leaves an antique factory is going to spend time with the highly trained technicians sitting here at this dock. So the goal here is to get everything tightened up, tuned up, and running to Nautique standards before it leaves the factory. Here in our final detail department, the team is putting the finishing touches on the boat. Things like graphics, Chromex, and non-skid are all applied. After that process, the boat is waxed, cleaned, shined, and then wrapped to be sent to one of our dealers worldwide. With seven quality control stations, we make sure that each Nautique leave in the factory is up to our standards. Inspections are made during and after each critical process, and everything is logged into our quality control system before moving into its next process. On top of the quality inspectors, a manager inspects all boats before it's wrapped to guarantee that everything has been completed and done correctly. So as you can see from start to finish, our team is dedicated to building the best boats on the water. Using high quality materials to create the most innovative products have earned us many industry awards, which we're very thankful for. But the most important thing to us is the time that you spend out on your boat with your friends and family. If you're not already part of the Nautique family, I encourage you to come join us and experience the difference.